Okay, this is our second video in which we go over answers from the Amish Adventure Novel Study Book. Uh, chapter 7. What language do the Amish people speak? They speak Pennsylvania Dutch. 2. What became as soothing as a rocking chair? The jogging rhythm of the buggy. Question number 3. What stretched at the end of the lane? A big white clapboard house. What spun around and around near an ambling barn? A windmill. How far back could this or er, did this farm exist? It has been around since 1775. Chapter 8. Question number 1. How long was the prayer that Grandfather Jonah prayed? It was five minutes long. Question number 2. What are the three pigs' names? Jenny, Dimples, and Rascal. Question number three. Why couldn't Aunt Clem come and get in? Uh, Aunt Clem was sick at home with the flu. Question number four. What was the policeman's name? Tom Higgins. Question number five. What does Ian notice in the corner of the shelf? He saw a bright bowl of deep pink uh, zinnias, or zinnias, pardon me. Question, or pardon me, vocabulary. Turmoil. A commotion or disturbance. Abruptly. Sudden. Hasty. Unexpected. Kerosene. A thin oil traditionally used for lamps. Chapter 9. Question number 1. What sign What sign was it when, uh, when there was a ring around the moon? It was a sure sign of rain. Question number two. In what year did the Amish ancestors oppose the state church? In the year 1525. Fill in the blanks. The Amish didn't believe in baptizing babies either. Baptism was a decision for an adult. Question number three. What did the Amish believe about lawsuits? Obeying the law and telling the truth. Question four. What were the doctors going to do to Ezra's leg? They were going to operate on it. Vocabulary? Queried means questioned. Hesitant. Doubtful or undecided. Strolled. A leisurely walk. Saints? A very holy person. Chapter 10. What did Mary read to Ian? She read him a poem. Question two. What did Ian miss because he was sleeping? He missed dinner. Question number three. What happened to Hannah? She married an outsider, went to university, and became a nurse. Question number four. Who is John? He's Reuben's brother. Vocabulary? Burnished. Polished or shined. Expressionless? Without showing feelings. Crimson. A deep, deep red. Summick. Any of closely related to trees. Chapter 11. What does this sentence mean? A horse reproduces, a tractor produces debt. A horse gives you more horses or workers, and a tractor needs fuel to run, so it costs you more money operating a tractor than to use a horse. Uh... Next question. What happened to Ezra during the operation? The doctors had to amputate his leg. Fill in the missing words. Your aunt is better. Jonah said she is coming for you soon. She doesn't like it that you are staying on an Amish farm. Okay, chapter number 12. Okay, you were supposed to do a writing activity, uh, writing a letter to you, your father why you were not going to Toronto. Uh, question number one. What was the only sound in the sleeping bender household? The ticking clock in the kitchen. Who came to see Becky? Elam. Three. What did Ian hug before he dropped from the window ledge? He hugged a large branch. Four. According to Aunt Lydia, 
what would tie their houses to the outside world? So according to her, anything like electricity, telephone, gas, water, or sewage lines would tie them to the outside world. Chapter 13. What washed away the colors and magic of autumn? The slushing rain. Question number two. What did the sign at the end of the lane say? Vegetables and fruit. Joan, or Jonah Bender's farm. No Sunday sales. Question number three. Where was church held? At the Zur farm. Four. What does strubly mean? It means wild, uh, curly mess. Five. What does somber mean? It means dark and gloomy. Six. What is Aunt Clam's full name? Her full name is Clementine MacDonald. Chapter 14. On what highway were Ian and Aunt Clem driving when Aunt Clem said, Those clothes you are wearing look ridiculous. They were on the 401 highway. That's also the busiest highway in Canada. Question number two. What do you think Ian will do after he climbs down the tree? Okay, uh, now for the next one, you are supposed to rewrite the words correctly. Horribly is spelled H-O-R-R-I-B-L-Y. Guilty is spelled G-U-I-L-T-Y. Mac McDonald is M little c, large d, o-n-a-l-d. But the way it's written in um, the book, MacDonald and McDonald are both spelled correctly, except for, in, <coughs> excuse me, in this case in the book, it's McDonald, not MacDonald. Uh, Clementine is spelled C-L-E-M-E-N-T-I-N-E. -E -E. Chicago is spelled C-H-I-C-A-G-O. Departure is spelled D-E-P-A-R-T-U-R-E. -E. Scotland is spelled C, or pardon me, S-C-O-T-L-A-N-D. Chapter 15. What did Ian find in the back of the closet? He found a pair of blue corduroys. Question number two. What was as dense as layers of tar? The darkness. Question number three, which one of the two pinball players in the cafe was smoking, and what is his name? The tall boy, and his name is Peter. Question number four, what were the two teenage boys doing in the cafe, or what were the two teenage boys in the cafe wanting to do? They want to rough up some Amish. Vocabulary. Rivulets, a very small stream. Corduroys. Cloth, usually cotton, heavier material, kind of jean-like. Moorings, the ropes by which a ship is made fast, which means to tie up the ship. Turnstile, an entrance barrier. Serviette, a piece of cloth. <laughs>